Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from the Fayetteville Antique Mall in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. So I do want to thank all of you all so much for watching my videos, leaving really nice comments, and making purchases at my live sales, checking out my eBay store. Everything that I am putting out there for you all, I really do appreciate all the positive and warm feedback that I get from you all. So I spent $232.79 at the Fayetteville Antique Mall. There are only three things on the table because this is from the first building. Well. Technically, the second building because there are three. Uh, B is the first one and A is the second. Like, when you drive up to the small, there's B and then there's A and then there's C in the back. But I usually go left to right. That's just a little OCD. But that's just how I do it. So, let's go ahead and check out what I got, shall we? So, this was the first item that I spotted. I love this silhouette of a gentleman holding a box of candy and some flowers, checking out his lady in the window. This one is called Love Old Sweet Song, series number 710, made by Deltex Products Company in Brooklyn, New York. Loved that, and that I think I will put out for Valentine's Day when I get my own place. Now this is nothing too special, this is just a pack of whiteout. Uh, it was 50% off. Usually these are about $1.50, maybe a little bit cheaper at Walmart. But um, 50 cents, I use Whiteout, and I think I'm just about to run out of the bottle I have now. So this was definitely a good thrifty pickup. Let me know down below in the comments section, do you guys like the sponge tip or do you guys like the nail polish brush tip? I personally like the sponge tip better because it absorbs the corrector fluid and you get more out of it than you would with the quote-unquote nail polish brush. I personally like this better. And the last item I got out of the first building is epic. This is a Viking Owl paperweight. I got this 20% off of the original price. This should be listed in my eBay store by the time this video goes up, so if you happen to be interested in it, the link to my eBay store is down below in the description box. This does glow under the black light with cadmium, so let me go ahead and share that with you all real quick. It's kind of hard to see, but there is some cadmium in this Viking Owl. He's absolutely fantastic, and I think I can get about $40 for him. So that was definitely a good pickup. Alrighty, so here are some really fun pieces. Um, I think... Everything that I'm looking at right now in the screen was 50% off of its original price. So I got some really cool pieces. So I did find this Smokey and the Bear, or Smokey the Bear. I think it's an ashtray. No maker's mark. It was probably like a gifty company made in Japan. There are some issues of damage. Like we got a chip on the tree here, and he's got a little chip on the hat but I still felt that it was worth picking up because it is still very cute and you can touch that up. And his head wasn't broken off or anything, so it was still worth it even with the damage. I did find this clock here, which I thought was really, really cool. And it does work. I don't know if it's gonna show up real well, but it does fluoresce under the black light. So I thought that was really neat. This is one of those cedar boxes with a really cool mountain side view. It's not the dovetailed design or the dovetailed wood, but it is still really, really nice. And you can store your jewelry in here. Maybe some hankies would look, be good in here too because cedar keeps the moths away. So I thought that was a really good pickup. This is awesome, and when I saw the color, I had to have it. This is a Kanaw Glass Ship Double Spouted Pitcher. And at first I thought it was Blanco, and I grabbed it immediately, but I, even if it wasn't Blanco, I was going to grab it anyway. So 
I was perfectly okay with that and I love it. It's gonna fit right in with my coastal theme. And I have a shelf that I bought well over a year ago at Target. My room, and this room too, is a disaster right now because I haven't had time to clean it. Um, I may not do any shopping this month, we'll see. Um, well, my birthday is at the end of this month, so maybe I will go out for that, but like I said, we'll see. Because I'll be filing taxes this Friday, and I'm I'm not sure what I'm going to end up owing. But we'll, like I said, we'll see what happens. I absolutely, absolutely loved this Dumbo creamer. Or, sorry, not creamer. Pitcher. It says, it says Dumbo on here somewhere. It says Dumbo right there. And somewhere else it says Walt Disney Productions. Oh, right here. Walt Disney USA. I forgot to mention this. Um, if you all see something that you don't want to wait for a sa it to end up in a sale, and I say it's for sale, you can email me at skullking95680 at yahoo.com. Link to it is down below in the description box. Look at the mid-century goodness. This is a Shawnee Cameo vase. Again, this was 50% off. This dealer was retiring. And I had had my eye on this for several years, and it just, I didn't want to pay what they were asking. So when it went half off, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. But isn't it just amazing? It is marked Shawnee on the bottom, USA. I love that green color and the spaghetti style. Again, if you do see something that you are interested in purchasing and don't want to wait for the live sale, you can email me. It's down below in the description box. Alrighty, so I did pick up some really cool ephemera, and I, like I said, when I see something really cool for a good price, I have to buy it. So this is really awesome, and it is a little bit rough, but for the age, it's in really good shape. So this is from 1913. It is a spring and summer catalog fashion for Montgomery Ward, and it is chuck-a-block full of some amazing, amazing stuff. I apologize if I'm not showing it real well. I mean, just look at that. I love being able to look back uh, in some of these catalogs and just kind of take a step back in time, you know? This I actually spotted last minute. I love it. It's a calendar top. So this is something I will have to frame. It looks like uh, this girl's dress got caught on a rose bush and she's cutting it off to prevent it from damaging her dress. Embossed. Really good price on that, so I had to have it. This greeting card I actually got in a booth that was 60% off. Or maybe it was 65%. I love the graphics of old kid old old kid cards or old cards in general. Just really neat. Now, this is not old, but I do love coffee table books that talk about movie stars and things like that from the golden age of Hollywood. So this is the 50 most unforgettable actors of the studio era. Hollywood's leading men. I see Robert Mitchum, Humphrey Bogart, Cary Grant, Clark Gable, uh, John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart. Is that Jimmy Cagney? And I can't think of who that is off the top of my head, but I got seven of the eight right. And this originally, at Borders, cost $19.95. I got it way less than that. These kinds of books don't really hold up their value, but they are really fun to look through. This is a Chicks and Chuckles magazine, like a pocket magazine. It's from 1959. Kind of naughty with this uh, girl dressed in a very sexy body outfit. And the model, her name was Tucky Wittick. Never heard of her. But it's just fun. There's novelties in here. There's pinup girls and, you know, the whole nine yards. I did find this really awesome Victorian coastal postcard. This is probably from the turn of the century. And it is in... It's got different... Um, it's got postcard in different languages. It's late, you guys. I'm sorry. I have a really busy week coming up. 
I'm doing a sale with Tammy tomorrow night, or actually tonight, the night you see this video. It is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then I have another sale with Beth Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties at, or on Thursday, I think it's at 6, maybe 7 p.m. Eastern. I can't remember. I've just been so flustered and exhausted. <laughs> but yeah. And then this is awesome. This is a Betty Page postcard. And she's dressed in one of her, it looks like um, a bikini she made herself. And this is one of the older postcards because there is not a zip code on it. And look at that phone number. So that was definitely a really good pickup. Alrighty, so we got some more fun stuff. I really liked this picture here. Not, oops, not sure who's in it. Definitely looks like somebody of the... Oh, I don't know. I, I know these frames were made for a very long time. But it's a glass frame. It's reverse painted. Just loved that. Then I got this picture. And the frame, again, is in... It's in overall good condition. I mean, we got some minor issues, but overall, good condition. Looks like he's... With his children, and then there's their car. What's interesting is this is actually... It's Brazilian. Brazil Industries. I can read that. So this was probably... Maybe something that somebody sent to the U.S., maybe? I don't know. But I thought somebody might really like it because of the old car. I did get a couple of planters. Oops, don't shift on me now. I got this pink trunk-up elephant. No idea of the maker, but that was a good price. That was 50% off, as was the two pictures. <laughs> got another Bun Bun planter. This one was, I think, 65% off. I love, love, love this Santa Soaky bottle. Don't usually ever see those too often. And that was also from the same booth that was 60, I think 60 or 65% off because they were retiring. The booth I got this really awesome cool ashtray from. <laughs> no pun intended. Cool cigarettes, cool ashtray. Uh, they were, I think, either moving out or retiring as well, and they had 50% off all of their items, including things that were marked firm. So uh, this is awesome. I don't go for smoking stuff really all that much, but I really liked the graphics, and people do ask a lot of money for these kinds of things. But I love advertising like this, and they don't make stuff like this anymore, so this is just a cool dish. Heck, I would throw Lucky Pennies in here. This is really cool. This is a little savings bank for U-Haul cardboard really really neat looks like a trailer that you'd hook up to a uh, tailgate on a truck so that was really cool probably a little giveaway for something or for the company this is really cool this is a really thin plastic i guess it's considered a perpetual calendar so on the back it looks like you just turn the little wheel yeah, I, I haven't really been able to figure it out too much, but really, really cool. Very thin plastic. I got that 10% off. Like I said, it was hard for me to maneuver that while I was on camera because I'm trying to share it with you all. Found this green sugared bell, 60% um, off of the asking price. Could not resist that, and I think this actually does fluoresce, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. So while I was in Adamstown, I found a really cool tiger um, sewing, like caddy. Had the pin cushion in the hat. There's a little spot for scissors, uh, and they were missing. These three were 50% off. I think I paid only two bucks for the three of them. So I'll probably keep one of them to put in there, and then I will probably sell the rest or just give them to somebody who needs them. <laughs> These are adorable. These I will be keeping for myself. They are trunk up elephant salt and pepper shakers. I love them. Probably McCoy, if I had to guess. Oh, they got little spots on their booties. I didn't see that. They got little dots on their butt cheeks. 
but I loved those, so I had to pick them up. All right, here are some more fun things to share with you all. This is really awesome. This is an old National Geographic series book, Introduction to Montite's Manual of Geography from 1876. As you can see, it does have wear and tear and everything, but considering that this is well over 100 years old, it's in, I mean, pretty good shape for... Oh, look, it says December 11th, 1873. Or no, I'm sorry, 1875 from, and it was William H. Newcomer Jefferson, York County. It's just a really neat book. Look at that graphic. How amazing is that? So I had to pick that up. I'm sure somebody would like that. This I bought for myself. I thought it was really cool. I think it's supposed to be a perfume bottle, and it's in a cloche. It's of a lady. Thankfully, the lady is either glued. Whoops, ouch, that hurt. She's glued down so she won't pop off of here. Cloche does come off. You have to kind of squeeze it in there to get it to stay on there firmly. But that was cool. That was 50% off. I did find a mouse ornament. Looks like Topo Gigio, which by the way, I do want to thank you all um, for that mouse that I shared with you all from my first video of this week. I thought it was Topo Gigio, but I don't know. I know that there are so many mice things that look like him, so it didn't occur to me that that may have been him, but I think it's cool regardless. So I got him. He was 60% um, off. I would never have spent $10 on this thing, but he's cool though. Did find a donkey planter in blue, made in Japan. Love, love, love him. This actually matches an ice bucket that I have downstairs. So this is the cocktail shaker. Just need to find a lid. I'm sure I can go on eBay and find a vintage cocktail lid to go on this. But I have never seen this coastal line before so I have no idea who makes it it could very well be Libby or Hazel Atlas but it's definitely got some age got these I thought these would be great for Christmas time it is Santa and uh, Mrs. Claus they are made by a company called KN Japan Mrs. Claus is a music box and it looks like they are kissing so I thought somebody would really enjoy that. Found this adorable poodle valentine. Super cute. I just saw the mousey. This children's book is from 1941, and as you can see, it is in pretty rough condition. I was thinking uh, since it was in kind of rough shape. Somebody could maybe use this for junk journaling because there are still some really cute graphics in this book. So just very, very neat. Oh, I love this. I may have to keep this. This was only 25 cents. We'll see. Probably not. I'll probably end up selling it. So like I said, somebody could probably use this for junk journaling. I did find this bunny rabbit hand puppet. The puppet portion is like a vinyl -y material, and then the head is rubber. Probably could take a magic eraser to it to clean it up. But the bag is like really, really dirty. But he needed to be rescued. I came home, yay! And then the last thing before I share with you all the final item, is this Volupte Compact. It doesn't look like it was ever used. It's a little bit dirty, but that can be cleaned up. In its original box, it was 50% off, so I thought that that was a really good pickup.
isn't this just adorable? It's a little elf salt and, or pepper shaker. Uh, it was the only one. It was in that booth that was 65% off. He does have a little chippy chip on his hand. But that doesn't stop him from being adorable. He'll probably go in my junk jar. Um, I thought he was more of a wizard. Maybe that's just how I see him. But I think he's really cute nonetheless. And to conclude this awesome antique store haul, I found this awesome Emerald Glow Fenton two-tiered tidbit tray. It was in a booth that was 50% off, so I felt that the asking price was right. It is listed in my eBay store currently, if you are interested. Uh, there is one thing I do want to note. Um, the little silicone washers that go in between the glass and the screw have disintegrated over time. I know that this is after 1971 because there is a stamped Fenton mark on here. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. I know it's on the very bottom. Oh, it's right here. I don't know if you all are gonna be able to see that real well, but it is there. So what I did is I ordered a big old kit of different sized silicone washers off Timu which by the way, I will be doing a Timu shopping haul so you all can see some of the things that I like to pick up on that site. So I'm waiting for that to come in and when and if this sells, by the way, this is listed in my eBay store. I think I already said that. If I already did, I apologize. But it is a great color and there is not one listed on eBay or there wasn't one listed on eBay until I listed this one. So I am hoping that this sells for what I am asking for it. Again, it is listed in my eBay store. The link is down below in the description box. So of course I'm not going to be shipping it like this. I'm going to undo it or take it apart, wrap up the individual dishes by themselves, and ship it out that way. So folks, that is everything that I picked up at the Fayetteville Antique Mall in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items from this haul.